Well, good morning, everyone. It's time for Sunday morning recap, and I am excited to share this with you. And so if you want to take your Bibles to 2 Chronicles chapter 20, I'm going to really just cover a couple of points from yesterday's message. In fact, I might even only do the first one and maybe give you a couple of more recaps uh, to start off the week and get to promises later in the week. But we had a very important time at the journey this weekend talking about anxiety and the reality that anxiety is not a sin. What what you might do from anxiety uh, oftentimes is sinful because we respond poorly to things and then we make rash decisions and we jump to conclusions when we're under stress. And so what happens from anxiety oftentimes is, is sinful responses. But God's word gives us a great way to, to really give us something to go to first. And so over the next couple of days, I'm going to talk to you about being equipped to handle anxiety. And like I said, anxiety isn't a sin. And I heard a, a great pastor say it this way, that it's like warning lights on the dashboard uh, when uh, something's going wrong with your car. Anxiety is simply a signal that helps us know that something is wrong. In fact, uh, in the passage that we're going to look at this morning, it's it's really King Jehoshaphat and the nation of Judah uh, struggling to keep their footing and their walk with the Lord strong when circumstances were getting a little crazy. And so let me read the circumstances to you so you can better understand. It starts with verse number one. And so I, I'll read a couple of verses, give you some conversation about it, and then we'll read a couple more. But verse number one says this, it says, And it came to pass after this also that the children of Moab and the children of Ammon, uh, with them other beside the Ammonites, uh, came against Jehoshaphat to battle. And then there came some, in verse number two, that told Jehoshaphat, saying, There cometh a great multitude against thee from beyond the sea on this side of Syria. And behold, they, they, they're, they're coming. So there's three different armies joining forces to come and attack Israel, excuse me, Judah. And so when they come, it's three forces and really... Uh, King Jehoshaphat knows that Judah doesn't really have the resources to accomplish this. And so he sets his heart to pray. In fact, let me read it to you. In verse number three, it says, And Jehoshaphat feared and set himself to seek the Lord and proclaimed a fast throughout all Judah. And listen to this. And Judah gathered themselves together uh, to ask help of the Lord. Listen to this next part. Even out of all the cities of Judah, they came to seek the Lord. And so this is the powerful part. See, they came out to seek the Lord, and it wasn't just one guy. It wasn't just the king or a couple of leaders from the army. He asked all of Judah to come, and they came. They came to the house of God. They gathered around the house of God to pray fast and just ask the Lord to intervene on their behalf. And so the next time that something something begins to cause you distress or feel a little anxious, the first thing we should do is set ourselves to call out to the Lord, to, to pour out our heart before the Lord. Did you notice that? It says, when he feared, he set himself to go and consult the Lord. He poured that out before the Lord. And it was incredible, the things that he prayed over the next many verses. But let me just zero you in on the, the last part of his prayer in verse number 12. Listen to what he says. Um, he says, Oh, our God, wilt thou not judge them? So he's talking about, won't you come in and intervene on our behalf? For we have no might against this great uh, company that cometh against us. So he starts off and says, we don't have the strength for this. The next thing he says, neither know we what to do. I don't know what to do. I don't have any idea on how we can battle on three fronts against three, three incredible armies. We could maybe beat one or two at once, but three of them, it's just over the top. We'll be spread too thin. It'll be a massacre. God, we don't know what to do. We're bringing this before you. And look what it says. This is incredible. It says, the last part of verse number 12, it says, but our eyes are on you. So this is, this is incredible. 
So the next time you feel the, the, the anxiety coming in, the circumstances of life starting to spread you thin, the, the multiple fronts where difficulties are surrounding you and you don't know what to do and you don't believe you have the strength, listen, don't let that fear cause you to, to make crazy decisions. Have that fear point you to the Lord. Jehoshaphat is a godly king, and the people were behaving godly at this time. And so they set themselves to seek the Lord. And that's what I want to encourage you to do. Maybe you get to work this morning and there's an issue. Set yourself to seek the Lord. Maybe you've caused it all yourself. Set yourself to seek the Lord. Anxiety can be helped with seeking the Lord. If we're willing to do what I'll share with you tomorrow, and that's wait. Wait on the Lord. And so, listen, next time anxiety creeps in, go directly to the Lord. In fact, why don't you go to the Lord and say, God, I just don't know how to handle the circumstances I'm in now. Would you show me the way? And let that be your prayer this morning. Hope that helps. Enjoy a great start to your week.